So hello everyone and thanks for tuning in guys. And yes, it is Wind Down Wednesday. We take out some time to love on ourselves. Take out some time to be about ourselves guys because we know that we're worthy. So guys, in South Florida, it is chilly today. So I decided to come to another one of my happy places that is in my home, which is my porch and come out and do the video. So guys, it's getting a little sunny out here, but guys, I love it. This is one of my happy places. So guys, I had read something and I wanted to read it to you guys and talk about it concerning self-care because it seemed very, very important to me. So what I wanted to do was read this and tell me your take on it. You can drop something down in the comments, okay? This question is not a new one by any means. 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul wrote, I want to do what is good. But I don't, I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. Guys, we know that we are complicated creatures when it comes to doing what we know to be good, especially good for ourselves. There seems to be a barrier that keeps us from taking self-care seriously. And I think guys, it has a lot to do with the beliefs behind self-care. So guys, the belief behind self-care is our behavior, including self-care behavior, flows out of beliefs. We care for others because we believe that loving others is deeply satisfying and it is rewarding. We stay up late talking with a hurting friend on the phone and get up early to drive our neighbors to the airport. In contrast, we struggle to make even the smallest sacrifice that will keep ourselves healthy, rested, fit, successful, or mentally sharp. So guys, I'm going to use this example. So when I'm using this example, it's, I'm going to use a child. For this, I would suggest a child if possible. So guys, I want you to imagine that you, you, have supernat you are supernaturally able to hover over this child's life and serve as the gatekeeper for anything that is brought into the child's life. Now picture what you want to enter into that precious child's life. You want good friends, nutritious food, peaceful sleep, healthy activities, enriching learning experiences, love, support, appropriate challenges, and encouragement. Everything you allow into that child's life leads to safety, growth, development, self-discovery, freedom, and joy. You would also keep out controlling, manipulative people, people who play mind games and use the child to get their needs met. You would keep out unhealthy foods, mindless amusement, and things that only feel good for the moment but cause harm in the long run. You will keep out pressures of life that prevent a balance between work and rest. Now for the final step. With this, imagine, with this image in mind of protecting a child you love, realize that in the same way, you are the gatekeeper of your life. What are you allowing in your life? Are you allowing good things that help you to grow? recover and be refreshed from the challenges you are facing or do you let in toxic people non-nutritious food drugs tobacco excessive alcohol and the expectations of others to do and be more than you can possibly be if so then you are aware and you're off to a good start so guys i thought i would um put that out there and the atmosphere and let you guys know and you can make a comment down it below to let me know because I love the fact that they use a child because if any of us have children we know how we feel about them and how we want to take care of them and do the right thing for them and that's the same thing when it comes down to self-care making sure we take out some time to love on ourselves and be about ourselves self-care does not mean you're being selfish it's just meaning that you're taking out some time to do some things that are best for you and that are good for you and guys it's very important that we carve out some time to 
do things that we like to do, have a, something special, not overindulging, maybe drink something that we like, not overindulging, maybe gardening, maybe going outside and taking a walk, maybe just taking a nap, maybe taking a hot bath. So guys, those are some things you can do to take care of your self-care. So guys, you know, I know, I know the importance of taking care of my self-care is very important. And it's very important to me that I allow you guys to know the importance of taking care of yourself. That's so very important. And remember guys, self-care is the best care. Take out time to love on yourself. Take out time to be about yourself because you're worthy. So guys, that's all I have for you today. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, hit the notification bell. And um, that way you'll be notified each time I load a video, guys. And guys, leave me something in the comments and let me know if you like these types of videos. So guys, if you're new, thanks for coming. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And for my rider guys, thanks, guys. I love you all. And I um, greatly appreciate you. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a great one. And don't forget to take out some time to love on yourself. Take out some time to be about yourself because you're worthy.